So to cure the problem with the main bearings, I put in these uh, sturdy ones. Uh, but um, to make them fit, to get room for them, I had to let go of the counterbalancer. And uh, that gave some problems when rebalancing uh, the crank. My first attempt uh, to rebalance the crank to uh, a ratio of 0.62. Uh, I did with uh, adding material here, only on the one side, and uh, because there was room for that in uh, the crankcase. But uh, that caused uh, heavy vibrations and uh, killed three rear shock uh, pistons. Uh, the first one already at the dyno. So uh, in, uh, to this season I have uh, put in some... Um, heavy metal inserts, uh, tungsten copper inserts, uh, to get the same counterbalance uh, ratio. Uh, and I have uh, to secure these in, um, in an axial direction. I have uh, grinded a little notch here and also um, on the inside of the other one and this one. And uh, I will fill that with a little uh, weld tack weld to, uh, to make them stay in the actual position. So if you're using a copper head gasket, uh, don't forget to heat it up so it gets uh, soft again. And it's supposed to be uh, a little bit reddish, not too much. The thin areas they tend to uh, to heat up very quickly. It's coming coming along nicely here. So after the annealing of the copper head gasket, it is uh, very, very weak, very um, soft. So you need to um, to put it on a flat surface, not to uh, damage it. Damage it when uh, you grind off the suit, because uh, there is uh, some suit here which uh, I would like to uh, take away. So I have a, a grinding paper, uh, one of the finer uh, grinds. I don't know, maybe uh, 100, 120 something. And um, I polish away every residuals and uh, I make sure that I uh, polish um, uh, perpendicular to, to where the pressure drop would be. So I don't get any grind, grind marks across the ceiling surface because uh, I want, don't want to ease uh, leakages, particularly not in this engine, since uh, I'm running, running a water-cooled jacket, and uh, that is uh, normally not optimal for a copper gasket. But um, just to get, uh, get away the worst thing, uh, something like that, So <clears throat> now the gasket looks um, pretty okay. Um, so uh, before I put um, some uh, sealing uh, sealer on it, I uh, make sure it's uh, really clean. So I use uh, some kind of uh, brake cleaner or thinner or whatever to, um, to take away all grease like that. Make sure also that you have uh, made um, your back surface clean as well, so you'll be able to do this. So, I think it's um, clean now. So now, from now on, I will be careful not to touch the ceiling surfaces. 
So before uh, mounting this, I, um, as a precaution, use uh, um, sealing glue. Uh, I've chosen this one, and um, maybe not necessary, but uh, then again, since uh, this is a water-cooled uh, engine, um, it, it uh, kind of, um, you need to do whatever necessary to prevent it from, uh, from leaking. So I um, spray this on. Like this, as thin layer as uh, possible. And uh, some of them the other side. Like this. And then uh, I leave it to, uh, to dry. When using a copper head gasket and reusing it uh, on a water-cooled engine, it is extremely um, important that all surfaces are uh, exactly of the same height. So even uh, some small uh, differences here, like uh, two or three hundreds of millimeters, could be enough for uh, for it not to seal so i have had uh, made a lot of work uh, with this and uh, also the corresponding surface on the head uh, to make it absolutely square and um, and uh, of same height all over so i made sure that all surfaces are extremely clean and then i put the head gasket in place very carefully because it's very soft so there it is in place and the bolts are tightened to uh, 45 Newton meters uh, which is a little bit over the stock spec but uh, as uh, I have found it necessary to, to be able to make this uh, copper head gasket work uh, which uh, by the way is um, 0 0.5 millimeters uh, thick. And uh, as you know, the budget in a Swedish racing team is not so much spent on this, but on um, coffee. So, time for a break. 